Well, we want to continue with breaking news. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his wife Sophie Gregoire Trudeau are in self-isolation. The PMO says Gregoire Trudeau has been tested for COVID-19 and is awaiting those results. Chief Political Correspondent David Aiken joins us now from Ottawa. Good afternoon, David. Obviously, an unfolding situation developing right now. What more do we know at this point? Yeah, we just learned about this about a half an hour ago, and you're right. So Sophie Gregoire Trudeau was overseas in the UK. She had a speaking engagement there, and when she returned, she started to develop flu-like symptoms, and she has been tested now for COVID-19, and she is in self-isolation. Her husband, the Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, is not feeling any symptoms, but he too now is in self-isolation, and he's going to work from home. And of course, this was a big week for the Prime Minister. He's hosting all of the premiers and territorial leaders, some of whom are already in town. Premier Kenny, for example, uh, from Alberta, is giving a speech right now, just a couple of blocks away. Uh, so the in-person part of the First Minister's meeting has been cancelled. So that's a big development, obviously. The Prime Minister is going to be talking with premiers by phone, by video conference. We're not exactly sure of the shape of that first minister's meeting, but the Prime Minister right now, again, showing no symptoms. He's feeling fine, but he is in self-isolation. And his wife, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau, she was feeling sick. She's had the COVID-19 test. And we understand that at this point in time, you can turn a COVID-19 test around in about six hours. So we may know by end of day if Sophie uh, is, in fact, infected with it and that of course would change uh, perhaps the the uh, the way the prime minister and his household are sort of being operated but that's the situation that we have right now and let's not forget um, we have some other politicians who are self-isolation the natural resources minister Seamus O'Regan a couple of days ago uh, Mary Ng who is from the Markham area uh, riding in Markham she's the international trade minister announcing yesterday she's in self-isolation and then just before this news broke the NDP leader Jagmeet Singh saying he woke up not feeling very well He's called his doctor. His doctor says, you don't sound like you've got the flu or COVID-19. you got something else. But nonetheless, Jagmeet Singh is staying home today, too. So you can imagine a lot of people on Sophie Gregoire's staff and the, and the prime minister's staff retracing the steps just in case. Um, let's get to the first minister's meeting that you, you mentioned. Part of it is canceled, the first part. What does this mean? Because this meeting is really focused or intended to focus on the response to this pandemic. Elaborate on that. Sort of. There was obviously a sh uh, uh, the, the ministers were going to talk about the short term crisis, COVID-19 and the economic fallout and some longer term issues. Doug Ford, of course, Ontario's premier is in town and he brought a whole pile of ministers with him um, there. They had arranged some one on one meetings with their counterparts. For instance, Health Minister Christine Elliott is here. She's going to meet with Federal Health Minister Patty Haidu. Doug Ford had a press conference this morning. You've probably been reporting on this already uh, in which he has his asks of the federal government infrastructure uh, speeded up approvals for infrastructure. He wants more money for long term health care funding. And he's got some issues around economic migration. Ford is still going to pursue that agenda. Presumably he has a meeting a little later on this afternoon, a one-on-one -on -one with the Deputy Prime Minister, Christian Freeland. That had already been arranged, but he and the other premiers are not going to be in the same room now with Justin Trudeau. Whether the premiers who are here decide to meet on their own, uh, you know, this is a developing situation. We're going to have to find out. So two premiers did not travel because of concerns of this, of this virus. New Brunswick's Blaine Higgs stayed back in his province, told not to travel, and Yukon's Premier Sandy Silver, same thing. His public health officials saying, don't come. All the other premiers, though, were, uh, except for Brian Pallister from Manitoba, he's got a budget today. Uh, all the others, though, were expected to be here in Ottawa to meet with the PM, but PM, uh, he's staying at uh, his place on the uh, Governor General's property. So just to recap the breaking news into the newsroom that uh, the Prime Minister is in self-isolation, Sophie Gregoire Trudeau in self-isolation, and we are just awaiting tests, and that could take, what, about six hours, five to six hours before we get results? Uh Ontario says that they can turn around a test if they had to in about six hours. For most people, it's a day, maybe two days. But, right. you know, it's the, the wife of the prime minister. I'm sure they're going to put a little bit of speed on that. David, always a pleasure. David Aiken joining us from Ottawa.